what is the most common broken bone and what do you think could be the most common broken bone in space what whether it's on the journey or like in the actual you know mars or moon environment i'll give you the three most common the three most common things that i see um are wrists ankles and hips and and, and that's me in a community setting um, it might be a little bit different if you were in a tertiary, larger tertiary care center, but, um, so those are the most common and of those wrists and ankles are the most common that I, that I treat our bone health is very tightly associated with our exposure to gravity because, uh, bone growth occurs in response to the stresses that are imparted upon it. So that's kind of a response that is called Wolf's law. So bone responds to the stresses that you put up, that you place upon it. You're going to see osteopenia. So softening of the bone in your entire skeleton, where you are going to notice that most is in your bigger bones and, and IE. So your femur, um, leg bones. If you think about the guys on the ISS, all they're doing is they're floating around within this small container. They're not actually out and about walking on the surface of any planet. If you have to go from being uh, under reduced gravity for seven months and then now going out and having to walk on a terrestrial surface, just look at the astronauts when they come back from extended stays. They never ever stand up right away like if they if they've been in in the uh, in the iss for a week or something like that or a couple of weeks no problem right but everybody else who's been there for an extended period of time they come they're they are seated they carry them out they don't allow them to stand N they never are walking um and that's because they could walk and they could break a leg man they could break a hip and so I think the same same kind of thing is uh, um, certainly a significant risk uh, uh, on Mars. And uh, and although wrists and ankles are are quite common here on Earth, hip fractures are a very close third. And I think after an extended space stay and then walking on, a, on another terrestrial planet, I think probably hip fractures are going to be fairly significant. It's interesting because Don Pettit just came home. He turned 70 years old while in space, oldest astronaut. And he said, I felt like a kid because <laughs> I didn't have all these aches and pains. And, you know, so... You, you feel great, right? Because you don't have, you don't have all, you don't have the effect of gravity, um, you know, working on your, your joints and on your skeleton. But uh, once you get back to earth, the reality hits in.